Hi, this is Double 975 and today I'm bringing you my first attempt at a DDM on strike. I didn't think this was a map, I thought this was something that railway employees did just before Christmas. But it is, it's, it's a map called Strike on Modern Warfare Remastered and it's huge and I got lost. Um, I'm bringing you the whole gameplay, I'm just going to leave it running in the background as I talk um, because you'll see, I get shot from places I don't even know people can be. I run around and get lost, I find that shooting out of windows and buildings is really powerful. It was a good fun game, but overall it was, uh, you know, my first playthrough of a map, so be aware I'm going to die to random shit, I have no idea where the enemy are coming from half the time. I've Considering it was my first playthrough and I don't know this map at all, I did quite well. I also found these cheeky spots which are really, really powerful. Um, I kind of knew about these before because I'd seen this map played on YouTube um, but it was a long long time ago and I remembered this little courtyard bit but that is literally all I remembered was there was a little courtyard and there was a lot of um, buildings you could go in and camp in um, up there and places like that so considering how little I knew of this map I was surprised at how well I did um, obviously I'm still using the really overpowered M16 which is um, yeah it melts it's better than the M8 as a burst fire assault rifle. Um, it really, really does decimate people. And, like I say, I was surprised at how well I did, but then I am using one of the best guns. And even though I don't know the map, the way I'm playing is still quite reasonable and quite sensible. Plus, we get a lot of UAV spam. So, that always helps. Um, I still don't know where to put airstrikes. My luck with airstrikes is not improving. It's got to be said. And my my choking of helicopters is still the same. In this situation, I will say that partly it's me choking and partly it's down to me not knowing the map and not knowing which direction people are going to be coming from and where I should be looking. But all in all, you know, what do you do when you play a map for the first time? You run around as much as possible, see as much of the map as possible, and you don't really worry about KD or how well you're doing. You obviously try and win the game, but you can't really worry too much about KD when you haven't seen a map before. And even though I had seen this map a long time ago on YouTube, I only knew like one specific area. I'm trying to remember. I've got a funny feeling it was like a competitive gameplay of Team Fear playing on it. I don't know, I'm trying to remember, but it may have been like um, Fear playing Sabotage or something like that I watched. You know, it's it was such a long time ago, and um, yeah, this game is. I'm still enjoying this Call of Duty. The, the fact there is no um, way of mitigating flinch is a bit annoying for me. Um, the three times frag is getting annoying on certain small maps, um, but all in all, the general point and shoot, arcadey shootiness of it, is exactly what I want out of a Call of Duty game. It feels right. The graphics are nice. Um, it's nice to be on a Call of Duty with a kind of a realistic look to it. Um, I.e. you're not playing around on a picnic table or something ridiculous. The, the maps actually, you know, are a setting that doesn't feel abnormal or stupid. And it's nice to play a Call of Duty where the guns are real, even as much as I love Black Ops 2. There are times when you look at the guns and you think, what the fuck is that supposed to be? <laughs> and Black Ops, don't get me started on the guns in Call of Duty is after Black Ops 2. Hell no. There are some real strange things going on there. I mean, who wanted freaking laser beams in Call of Duty games? I do not know. But Call of Duty decided to turn into Halo and Halo turned into poo. Um, so, all in all, it's kind of strange the way games are going, the direction that they're all taking. Um, seems crazy to me, especially with what's popular with people. But... I gotta say, for a first playthrough, I was quite happy with how I performed in this game. It's not the greatest score in the world, but then when you're running around like lost, like I am here, um, trying to work out where the enemy are likely to be coming from, it's kind of difficult to uh, worry too much about score or lack of. But it was. Um, but obviously, as I'm doing a totally uncut playthrough of a map, it's going to be a longer video. Uh, so, 
I'm going to have to find some other subjects to talk about <laughs> on these. If I continue to do these first time playthrough um, gameplays, which I'm not even sure if I'm going to, because I'm bound to get a first time gameplay walkthrough now that's going to be appalling, because all the map packs have now dropped, so I've got access to much more maps in Modern Warfare Remastered. I've never played any of them. So basically next time I go on, I'm going to be like playing five new maps and that's probably going to be really bad for me and I'm probably going to get some gameplays that are absolutely appalling. Uh, this one wasn't so bad, but obviously when you're playing on a new map, you're at a disadvantage, especially when it's a new map that everyone else has known for 10 years. Um, Dom was quite surprised when I played with him on one of the new maps that um, I still scored quite well considering I'd never played it and it was one I decided not to bring to you as a gameplay um, so so honestly I don't know if I'm going to continue to bring you these because uh, the length of time of the videos because when I'm on the first playthrough this <laughs> the game seems to drag on a little bit longer than I would like and um, like I say, a lot of it is just me randomly running around in places where there aren't going to be anybody so if I get a particularly good first game playthrough, I might bring you it. Uh, but I think I'm just going to rely on good old fashioned when I get a good score, no matter what map it is, I'll bring you the gameplay. Um, because of the limited number of Call of Duty videos I'm doing now, when I used to do seven Call of Duty videos a week, it was a bit different. But now I'm doing only three to four, I can be a bit more choosy with the gameplays that I choose to use. And I'm not in that constant panic of trying to get seven gameplays a week. I'm only looking for, let's face it, three or four good games over a space of a week. Which, even with the limited time I'm playing Call of Duty these days, isn't too hard to achieve. And certainly when they give me Black Ops 2 backwards compatibility, it would be really easy to achieve. I love that game. And nobody knows that game better than me. Trust me. I've got more time played on that game than most professional players. So, I know spots, nade spots, and all sorts of stuff that people don't know about. So, that's a... Uh, that makes things a lot easier. Uh, this map, though, I've got to say, I'm quite impressed with my reflexes. My knife reflex has gone to shit there. Um, could have saved myself a knife quickly. But, as you can see, I'm just carrying on regardless and pushing around around the map. Where the map ends, nobody knows. I, I realise here where they're coming from, and I'm quite chuffed that I managed to get that good nade off and pin people down in that little courtyard quite handy at times you know I don't know the maps as well as maybe I should but I was learning and you can see that I was learning as I was playing and that's all for this video and thank you very much for watching sorry it's a bit of a longer video than normal thank you